Well, congratulations on hanging in there to the fifth and final video. I'm going to finish up some comments on the uh, amplifier, and then we will go to uh, some problem-solving uh, issues that hopefully will be helpful. Thank you. Before we go to the troubleshooting uh, final section, I wanted to say one or two more things about the amplifier since it is the most valuable component of your jukebox. If these fuses on top are good, I, I should have mentioned there are three other fuses in the capacitor board to, to, to check. And if they're good and the output driver and heatsink transistors test good and you don't see any other damage to any of the boards, then go ahead and put the capacitors in and your, your chances are, I feel, at least 8 out of 10, you're, you're going to get a working amp. Now, having said that, it's also a nice luxury to have a good known amplifier on the shelf. And I, I think I could make a strong case for picking up a, a parts box uh, such as a 456 or 468 model. That those look like the uh, dining room buffets. They're not as popular. They didn't seem to get quite as much play since they were in more sedate locations. And if you can get one of those, which actually I'm going to pick up one this week for $150, it's complete, it sounded good, it just stopped selecting. Um, I think I'm going to have a treasure chest of parts inside, I'll get rid of the cabinet, but it would be worth it just to have the amp um, from a machine like that to have on your shelf so that you could substitute known good components when, uh, when you do have a problem. Um, so let's go to the troubleshooting uh, part now and let's talk about the amplifier problem or sound problem first. Uh, my knowledge is limited but the knowledge I have and will give you I hope is true and, and, and worthwhile. Now you put all your components back in your jukebox, uh, you, you put everything in correctly, you made sure your plugs were snug and secure, you plug in the box, you make a selection Lo and behold, it selects, it brings the record out, starts to play it, and you have volume only on one channel. One channel is silent. Um, before you panic and call Bill Bickers, I would like you to know that there is one thing you can do, and that is switch from stereo to mono on your amplifier. If the problem uh, corrects itself, if you then get sound out of both speakers that's equal, that is actually good news because that means your problem is up front here, either your cartridge, your cartridge wire, or the input cord and plug. There must be a, a break there, and sure enough, in one of my boxes, there was a broken wire on the, on the tone arm. That is a problem you should be able to diagnose and fix, and you should look for that. And um, you can, of course, just go look for it, but if it's easy if there's a broken wire there, but if it's the plug here, you may not identify that, but you will by that trick, switching to stereo to mono. Now, if switching to stereo to mono does not correct your sound inequality, then you do have an internal problem. It probably will not be the output transformers. They are down on the back uh, door and they have been fairly reliable over the years from folks that know a lot more than I do. So I wouldn't look there. I would look for the output driver boards and if you can take your amp out and swap the driver boards and then if you have, have, don't have sound you fire it up again if you don't have sound on the left where you had it before and you have it on the right where you didn't before then that's your problem. You have a bad uh, driver board and there's a great opportunity to pull one off the shelf that's uh, <clears throat> ready to go and substitute it and, and solve your problem. Uh, I also mentioned before that those um, crossover capacitors, if you didn't replace them on the tweeter, certainly do that now because that can be a cause of in, in unequal uh, uh, volume in the uh, speakers. Okay, let's move on to some other general selector problems that have occurred. Uh, when I put my box back together and was expecting things to be fine and found out that that was not the case. Um, let's start with, um, I just have a 
a few tech tips here. Suppose you make three selections, first selection, second selection, um, first button, second button, third button, and the search motor does not go for the record. Uh, what you would do is check the continuity of a circuit breaker, so you check the wires, check loose connections, clean the contacts of that latch switch eight up on the uh, solenoid that we talked about before. That's likely going to be the problem. Also check the, your keys and be sure your select your keys that they were cleaned and then always check and reseat gang connectors. But in, when, my ha when I had that problem, when the search motor didn't, didn't or the right, when I'm talking about the right end motor, when it didn't go, um, try to find the um, selection, it was that contact up on the latch bar solenoid. In contrast, if the search motor just keeps going and going around and doesn't find the, the hot area on the circuit board, it's likely that the circuit board itself is um, <clears throat> still, you didn't clean it well enough. And that's the first thing I would do, clean the wipers again and clean the um, uh, input, uh, uh, the right end circuit board. Yes, it's, it's possible that the um, stop relay is, uh, um, is at fault and that would be the next place you would look over on the uh, power supply. You would be sure that relay is kicking in and uh, and then if it is, you just check from there to see what, uh, what uh, component is not working. Um, one of the toughest problems is um, the search, you make a selection, you punch in your three numbers and the hammer coil, the search motor goes for it, it stops, but the hammer coil won't hammer the pin. Now, this is the most frustrating of all because the hammer coil circuit goes through the power supply uh, area, it goes through the credit unit, it goes through the uh, selection control box, and it also goes through two of these gang uh, connectors here and then underneath. So you've got six or seven areas of possible uh, uh, failure here. Um, in my case, uh, it was not the hammer coil. Uh, um, you can <clears throat> double check that by selecting the other side, check a 200 side record. And if, and if it doesn't hammer, then it's not, you're not gonna have two hammer coils go bad. You should check continuity, but that won't be the problem. The problem is uh, you have to do a meticulous search for dirty, loose connections. Is, is there still your, your public enemy number one here? And, and in my case, um, uh, it turned out that I reseated the, con uh, the connectors twice. The second time, I got it to work, so I had to do it twice. And I'm talking about these guys over here in particular. Um, the other thing you often have to do is take your forceps and pull on all the wires at some of these connectors. You'd be amazed. Every once in a while, one comes right out and you realize, oh my gosh, this wire was loose all along. Please check for loose connection. That goes for up here, but in particular on ones that might have um, connectors that might have a little more torque on them. I just wanted to uh, mention that loose connections, dirty contacts are your enemy. Um, we talked about unequal speaker volumes. How about if, the, if your uh, magazine will not stop, the play control relay is running, but it won't stop in the home uh, position. Um, now the solution here is make sure all your selection levers on the right outside are fully off. There may be one that's halfway and it's still uh, telling this, uh, the um, the uh, search motor to go find it, but it's not making a, an electrical connection. Um, in this case, um, uh, also check the ground wire on the wobble plate solenoid. That was not making on, on mine, and it may have been incidental, but that cured the um, problem. Um, how about if the first did you make a first, you press a, um, your first digit and the first digit light 
won't come on. Well, certainly you should check the light, but that may be the credit unit contacts and go in there and check that aid, those ADR contacts. That, that darn ADR relay in the credit unit is involved in a lot of passive and active uh, connections. And uh, uh, that would be where I would look. And then if everything looks good there, then go over to the um, selection control panel that I said the, the board never went bad and look at K6, the relay, and see if it's working. And if it is, then, then trace things from there. Um, how about if you press in the third digit and the right end motor stalls? It, it starts to go uh, and then stops, starts and stops. And, if you, and if, especially if you have to keep the third button pushed down, that's a, the adjustment up on that solenoid we talked about before. You may have the switch eight making connection after the second button is being pushed and not the third, and that will foul up the uh, um, circuitry and you'll have stuttering of the uh, right in circuit. Um, How about if the search motor has too much slack and misses the pin? So the search motor goes, tries to, hammers the pin, but misses it. Uh, this could be the motor being bad, but I would perform the right-in carriage adjustment on page 64 of the manual. And if that doesn't do it, then tighten the slot nut that secures the search motor. It may have loosened itself from uh, the, the gear that it drives the... Um, 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 <clears throat> right in uh, uh, arms and uh, if so if you just tighten that a bit it, you'll get rid of that slack and it'll uh, line up and hit the pin properly we talked about if you, the tone arm won't sit down properly it scoots across that could be not enough um, uh, tension there's an adjustment spring underneath but there's also a keeper steel spring we talked about uh, that uh, if it's bent or broken uh, it will there'll be no control the the uh, grip the tone arm will will um, bounce all around coming in they won't be smooth at all um, how about if the uh, the record rejects almost immediately well we talked about this before you want to ch check the um, trip switch that's underneath the tone arm uh, you want to check the back door reject switch in case it's closed and uh, faulty. But also that number three micro switch we talked about before. If that failed to close or fall into its groove on those uh, cams on the back of the mechanism, that would be a likely place to look. Um, there are a lot of other problems. I can't really um, cover all of them, but... Certainly, uh, uh, dirty contacts and loose connections, um, checking for those, uh, that certainly goes a long, uh, uh, long way. I hope these comments have been helpful. Um, I know it's been a little long-winded, but um, uh, I wish you the best with these machines. I just, I think they're, they're very restorable, and uh, check others on YouTube, and there's a lot of good uh, groups and forums to uh, utilize as well. Thank you.